Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and yesterday we talked about this exciting research that we can invest in our happiness 401k, and there are seven specific buckets that affect our happiness into our 70s and 80s that we can start to fill now. Those seven categories, as a quick recap, are smoking, drinking alcohol, body weight, exercise, emotional resilience, education, like lifelong learning, and relationships. Yesterday, we covered the first three, and today, we dive into the last four. So let's get going. The fourth way we can invest in our happiness 401k is to get out there and move our bodies prioritizing movement into our lives every single day. The easiest way to do this is walking daily and making a habit of walking that will fill up your happiness bucket. The fifth bucket is to practice your coping mechanisms now. The researchers are saying that we are all going to be distressed and have loss. And the earlier we can find healthy ways to deal with life's inevitable distress, the more prepared we'll be when the inevitable happens in our 80s. Arthur Brooks mentioned in his article that this means working consciously, perhaps with assistance from a spiritual practice or even therapy, to avoid excessive rumination, unhealthy emotional reactions, or avoidance behavior. That's fascinating, right? Well, the sixth bucket was music to my ears. Keep learning. My father-in-law is constantly doing a Sudoku puzzle or reading. I think the idea is to have an active mind. Maybe you have a hobby you like to learn about or a subject you're interested in. The science would suggest that you should pursue those learning endeavors. It will help you build your happiness 401k. And finally, the seventh bucket is to cultivate meaningful, stable, reliable, long-term relationships now. For most people, this might mean a life partner, but this also includes relationships with your friends and family. And I would argue this fills your happiness bucket right now too. Meaningful relationships are a cornerstone to fulfilled happiness. We need people that we can count on in our lives. So there you have it seven ways to make deposits into your happiness 401k. And if you want to make a kindness deposit, we'd be so grateful if you would share this podcast with a few of your friends so we can encourage more happiness and kindness in the world around us. Remember, kindness is contagious.